So there's this saying in the plant community that you've probably heard that goes first year they sleep, second year they creep, third year they leap. Essentially what this saying is referring to is the growing pattern of plants that we bring into our house. Generally, the first year that you bring a plant into your house, it sleeps. So it's getting used to the conditions of your new house, to new humidity, to new watering and light. And during that period, there's not a whole lot of growth. It might have some incremental growth, but it may not be, you know, incredible growth. In the second year, it creeps, which alludes to the fact that after it's gotten used to all of these new conditions, your plant will grow a little bit more. It'll creep along in that growth. Third year alludes to the fact that your plant has been established for two years now. It's gotten used to the growing conditions that it's in. So now is its chance to fully grow because, you know, it's in an environment that it, it knows and understands. And so it can grow to its max potential, whatever that is. Just like most sayings, this saying is not, you know, 100% accurate. You could have something like a pothos, which will leap in growth within a few weeks after buying it. Or you could have something like a pothos enjoy that does absolutely nothing for years. <laughs> but it's a fun little saying and generally it tends to have some kind of truth behind it. So for the next few weeks, we're gonna take a look at the plants that I have in each category. So first year, second year, third year and above, and take a look at the new growth that has happened over the last year, two or three. Today, we're gonna to be looking at the third like age bracket. So third year, they leap. These are plants that I've had for longer than two years. Um, some of them I've had for like four or five years. And we're gonna be taking a look at the growth that they put out and how it fares to some of the growth that they had put out when they were younger. But yeah, let's just jump right into it. So the first plant um, that I'm gonna talk about are these orchids. So I've had these orchids for, I think like, four years almost or something like that. This was the first one that I got and I had this one about a year before I got this second one. Um, and they've they've bloomed for me multiple times. Uh, I think there's like there's a lot of new growth on this one. So this leaf and this leaf are new growth and a couple of these actually are new growths um, since I got it. On this one I think both of these two leaves are new growths but it's also lost a couple leaves. This one doesn't really isn't really doing as good as this one and it's got all of these weird spots on it. I don't know what that's from. This leaf actually came with the plant when I got it. And one thing about um, orchid leaves is that there's no way to kind of fix any blemishes or problems with orchid leaves. Once there's, there's a hole or there's an issue, it stays like that until it dies. But these have definitely done really well. This one I like a little bit more than this one. I think this one gets white flowers. I'm not sure about this one. Red, I think. <laughs> Something like that. But yeah, um, I don't really know much about orchids. These are just like your regular grocery store orchids. Um, but yeah, they've grown quite a bit and um, they continue to grow throughout the year too. Cece, you're chewing through all of my videos. <laughs> so I've also got these two Hoyas and they're some of the oldest Hoyas that I have. This was the second Hoya that I purchased or actually I think it might've been the first Hoya that I purchased. This is a Hoya Carii. Um, on Monday, I posted a Carry Eye Care video, and in that video, I kind of mentioned that it hadn't grown for me in, I don't know, the three or four years that I had it. And just recently, just a few months ago, um, all of this started to grow, and this new leaf started to grow. So I just moved it to a different spot. It was actually a shadier spot than I had it for those last three years, and it started growing, so I'm not sure <laughs> why I did that. This is a Hoya Carnosa Compacta, or a Hindu rope. When I first got this, it was a little tiny thing. Um, I think it was only like, it wasn't trailing at all. So it was just kind of contained to this circumference. And since then it has put out a lot of new growth. Every year it grows quite a bit. I've been meaning to propagate it to cut some stuff off over here and propagate it to make some more vines and make it a little thicker. Um, but yeah, it's grown so much for me. I did find a mealybug on this when I first got it and I squished it and that was the only mealybug I ever found on it. So I think I was kind of lucky uh, with that. This is another Hoya. So this is the Hoya Pubicalix Royal Hawaiian, Royal Hawaiian Purple, I think. Um, I, I'm not sure if it's lost the purple part though because it has put out some new leaves and they haven't been purple coming in. They've just been green. So I don't think it's getting enough sun to put out those purple leaves. Um, but I've had this for, I think, three years. It's either in the three-year or the two-year category. I can't remember. 
Um, but it's grown a lot since I've got it too. You can tell that these leaves are newer. This is a newer leaf. All these vines are newer. Um, and it's grown really well. I got this at the same time as I got a Hoya Puba Calyx, but that Hoya Puba Calyx did not survive. And I do not have that anymore. But this one is doing really well. So next is the Stracana Marginata. I've had this for about three years now. It's the most recent Dracaena that I have in my collection. And it's looking a little droopy right now because I forgot to water it. <laughs> um, so I just gave it some water. But it grows really well. Out of all of my Dracaena, it grows probably the best and the most. And it's also my favorite, so <laughs> I'm pretty happy with the growth that it has. Sometimes you'll get a Dracaena and they take a while to grow. This one, for some reason for me, grows super fast. I'm gonna have to um, cut off some of these these taller tips eventually um, to make it branch a little bit more, but this is one of my favorite Dracaenas. So we have a couple more Hoyas over here. This is a Hoya Carnosa that I got about three years ago. This was the third Hoya that I purchased um, or that I got in my collection after the Carry Eye. And it's done really well. It's constantly putting out new growth and new leaves and I'm always propagating it and throwing the propagations back in here. So this is probably the biggest Hoya that I have. It hasn't flowered for me. I've only had one Hoya flower for me, but um, this one looks really nice and I put it in this hanging basket and trellised it over there. So I'm really happy with the growth that, that it has shown. And this is one of the plants that grew for me as soon as I got it. And it's always putting out new like baby leaves. I think that's a new leaf right there that's just kind of starting. Um, every once in a while a new leaf will pop out. Like this one was just growing um, a couple weeks ago. Uh, but yeah, I've also got this one. This is the first Hoya that I got and it is just a regular Hoya Carnosa. And I got this from a cutting that was, uh, that, that was two leaves, I think. And the cutting originally came from a plant that belonged to my great-grandmother. For like a year, it didn't do anything, and then it pushed out a little tiny leaf, and now it's <laughs> it's pretty huge. Like, look at all the growth that it has on it now. I've also propagated this and put some back in there. I have some propagations of this growing in a little propagation box, and I'll throw those in there with it, but I'm really happy with the growth that this has done. And it also, you know, is pretty special because it came from my great-grandmother's plant. So the next plant is this fiddly fig. I've had this plant um, for four or five years. Right when I started to get into plants, I found this and I bought it and it was a tiny little thing that was probably about as tall as that leaf. And so over the last four or five years, it's constantly grown. I, <laughs> I did try to, um, to branch it down here and you can see actually where, yeah. So down here, I tried to branch it and it did not work and I almost killed the plant, uh, but it's, it's kind of growing back. It's a little more sturdy. I've had to, I've had to stake it up because I, it, was, it was literally gonna just break in half. But every day I um, come out here and I shake it a little bit to try to get a thicker stem. But this thing is always putting out new leaves. I have another fiddly fig tree that I think was in my last video. That's a more recent purchase. And it hasn't put out any new leaves, but this one is constantly putting out um, new leaves and new growth. So I'm pretty happy about that. I've also got this jade. <clears throat> so this jade plant is also probably about four years old. Um, it's looking pretty good. I have it kind of in a darker space right now. I had it over here while we were moving. So it could do with um, a brighter location, but I'm having some problems with it because you can tell like with this one right here, it's growing so much that it's starting to like fall over. And the, the plant itself is like one of those, I got it at Walmart and it's like, I don't know if you can see, but it's like five or six plants that are just kind of shoved in together. So there's no room for them to kind of grow outwards. So when they do get tall, they just kind of fall over. And I've been trying to figure out if I should just uproot all of them and plant them as individual trees, or I've seen some jades that just kind of like fall over and grow in kind of like a weeping fashion. So I don't know if I'm just gonna do that with this, but yeah. So next I've got these rubber plants. This is a tanniki, a burgundy, and just a regular green one. I've had these for about three or four years. This was the first one that I got and it was just a little cutting that was about half this size and I got it from my friend Emily. She gave me a cutting of her plant and it's got a new leaf coming in 
it took a long time for it to root, I think because it was such like a woody, a woody cutting. But um, after it started rooting and I planted it, it, it like constantly grew for, for the last few years. This burgundy is always dropping leaves. I don't know why, um, but it's all, also always growing. It's kind of a more bushy, compact plant. This is more like a tree, and I think this one is also kind of more like a tree. Um, and this one is also growing quite a bit. So when I first got this tanniki, it completely died. There was about three or four other stalks in it, and they just completely died off, and these ones lost all of their leaves. And then I put it outside one year. I think two years ago I put it outside, and it started to grow back really nicely. I haven't taken any um, propagations from this, I don't think. I'm not sure. I know I have for that one, um, but this one I'm not sure I've taken any propagations. And I haven't cut it just because, you know, I want it to grow nice and tall before I start to uh, to make it branch. I want to make this one and this one into trees eventually. So over here on my little succulent table, um, this dracaena I've had for I think about three years. Um, it's grown a lot. Every time I look at it, it seems to have a new leaf, but it's still like, it doesn't look full or anything. Um, eventually I'm going to have to cut those as well to create some branching. Um, but it's been growing really well for me. It doesn't grow as fast as the other Dracaena, but um, sometimes with Dracaenas you'll get ones that grow really fast and other times you get ones that are really slow. So for three years it's been kind of like a slow growing plant, but it has been growing nonetheless. Uh, down here, I'm not sure, <laughs> I'm not sure which of these I've had for a while. I know these Hawarthias I've had for three or four years. They came from my grandma's plant and I'm constantly, um, propagating them and putting them in bigger pots and stuff. This one is doing really well. And this aloe, I think, I've also had for about three years and it's grown a lot. So when I first got it, it was like a half moon shaped you can kind of see where the original growth was because it's all this compact half moon leaves and all of this splayed part at the top is all new growth. And this is a type of aloe. I'm not sure what type it is. And I'm kind of surprised that it's still alive because every time I've bought like a regular aloe vera, I have killed it within like a month. So I don't know how this one is staying alive. This is the oldest plant in my collection. It's a Sansevieria and I've had it for probably about six years. It's kind of in a dark corner um, back here right now because I just had it here while we were moving and I didn't think that it needed a lot of light. I did fry it last year when I put it in direct sun outside so some of the tips are um, a little scorched and that's kind of the same for all of my Sansevieras. I put them all outside and they all just like burnt to a crisp. But this one is a really old plant but also like hasn't really grown much. It grew a lot in the first few years that I got it. It was constantly putting out new pups, um, but then it stopped growing and it hasn't died, but it also hasn't grown in about a year. It was one of my favorite plants, but since then I've gotten a lot taller Sansevieras. And uh, this one, you know, is just, it's, it's the oldest plant that I have. So it's kind of sentimental, but at the same time, like grow. <laughs> I have this golden pothos, ignore how messy my countertop is, but I've got this golden pothos and this is the oldest pothos of mine in my collection. It started as a couple of cuttings that I think I took from one of my mom's plants and then I just kept cutting and adding to it and cutting and adding to it and it's created this really like thick bushy plant um, that is really nice. I really like this. I've had it growing before, I've had it trailing um, kind of up the wall and stuff but I keep cutting it back to create a kind of bushier look. I have some other pothos that I'm gonna keep as like more trailing plants. So over here we have this Mykins. I'm not sure if this is in the three year or the two year category. I got it as cuttings in a trade. I traded some donkey's tail or some burrow's tail and um, got some Mykins and it's doing pretty well. It took a long time to grow. And I've realized that um, I, I really overwater this plant a lot. <laughs> and I think that kind of results in slow growth. It is a little smaller now because I just took a bunch of cuttings to um, do some propagations of it. But um, yeah, I really like this plant. I just wish it would like grow a lot faster. So some of these Sansevieras as well, this is a black coral. This is a regular one. And over here I have this other regular one. I've had them for a while too. 
they are constantly growing they're constantly putting out new shoots but they're also rather slow growing so you'll see a new shoot or a couple new pups and it'll take a while before they you know mature like over in this one we have a couple of pups here um oh actually that's a bit taller than it was when i last looked at it so there's one here and there's one i think over there and they've been like that for a few months and it'll probably take a year before they get you know I don't know, a decent size. But yeah, uh, those are some more Sansevera. You can tell that I really like Sansevera. <laughs> so over here we have this Ficus Bonsai, um, this Ficus Ginseng. And I recently did a care video on this as well. So this is one of the oldest plants that I've had. Um, it's constantly growing. I have to trim it back every year as it grows a little bit. And I just did a trim on it in the video. Sorry for the backlighting. Um, but it's a little bit sparse. Every winter, it seems like it drops half of its leaves and then it only really gains back <laughs> like half of what it lost. So I don't know, it's slowly just coming back to health. And there you have it. Those are the third year plants and how they've been growing. I hope you've enjoyed this little series that I've done. And I would love to know what plants you have that are showing a lot of growth and how long that you've had them for. Some of my plants I've had for a very long time and they have shown no growth and others I've had for a couple weeks and they're spreading out new stuff all the time. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed this little series, this little video series, and yeah, I'll see you in the next one. Thanks again for watching. Remember to like and subscribe for similar content. On Mondays, I post videos about houseplants. And on Fridays, I also post videos about houseplants and reading, writing, photography, art, and any other generic interests of mine. As always, you can find my social media links in the description below. Also, you can find links to H&H &H Games, the board game company I've helped create, and our debut board game, Season of Heroes. You can also find the Amazon links to my fantasy series, A Chronicle of Crowns. Thanks for watching. Bye!